actually when it happened, we really wanted to do something about the situation because we wanted to investigate what happened to him. And uh, since there was an investigation, uh, a police investigation, we couldn't really talk about it. And then, uh, so we were afraid that people will not want to talk about suicide because it's a suicide of a friend or son or brother. And uh, we were surprised to to um, to uh, see that actually people really wanted to talk about it. They really needed to open up and uh, talk to the world and you know say that they didn't find that they you know they were treated fairly, basically you know by the justice system. And uh, so uh, so they they were quite. Uh, you know the, the 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 friends and the relative were very open, and the government official were not. They were very careful not to say anything. And I guess it was because of the investigation. The coroner investigation is next week. It starts on Monday. So when we were finishing the film, we didn't know that, uh, and now it is. So Susan is an Iglulik, the co-director. And John will be in Iglulik and uh, other people, and they will film the results. So we will add an epilogue to, you know, what what happened. Uh, that's a good question. Solomon was basically an actor, and uh, when he was a kid, he was uh, he was playing with his uh, adoptive uh, mother. You know, the his biological grandmother was his adoptive mother. And uh, he was acting in a series that was shot in, uh, in 1995, I think. 1995, about that, about life in Iglulik in the 40s. So, and then, um, so he was with his family acting in there, so that's why we have shots of him when he's like seven. And then he was a um, an Arctic performer. And Arctic uh, basically, you know, were traveling with video camera and documenting their whole process all the time. You know, they went to Mexico, Africa, Paris, and you know, other places in Canada and Northern Canada and Southern Canada. And they were always, you know, filming what they were doing. Well, I mean, uh, I don't want to get too much into uh, this because I don't think I can speak as a member of the community as I don't live there anymore like I used to live. But uh, there is a traditional side to it uh, of health, like people helping each other, like uh, elders helping uh, people being able to call uh, someone they know who they can call, you know, of, uh, often it's uh, an older person that has some knowledge and uh, can help them so they can, you know, have like peer help. Uh, there is no, there is a psychiatric nurse now in Iglolik, I'm not sure if there was one before, it's not always there, there's not really a doctor. There are a couple of nurses. Most of the time, there is a social worker. Uh, those services come and go, depending of different things. Could be the person leave, or you know, they don't know who to hire. I mean, it's not you know. Obviously, there's no center. There's no therapist that live there. So it's it's more traditional. They do activities like they will go on the land, for example. They will bring kids on the land a week or in the spring, and you know, there is, uh, you know, there is little. I mean, everybody, you know, in another uh, Tuesday when we show the film, somebody says, well, they're doing things for suicide prevention. Are they doing things to help people who are affected by suicide? You know, like, can you go see a therapist if your brother killed himself? You know, can you go and talk to someone? And basically, not really. You know, there's a lot of people who need this kind of help, and there's not a lot of it that is offered. 
think one of the things that you know we wanted to do with the film was to uh, uh, pay uh, you know just we didn't want our friend to be just another number you know like there was 45 suicide last year and he was one of them like we didn't like first of all we still are not sure exactly what happened what kind of suicide if it is a suicide I'm not sure um, and uh, and we didn't want, you know, we're like, okay, you know, we're, we're going to grieve and we're going to, you know, talk about him. We love him. We love them. And we're going to do something, you know, because otherwise it's just like another, another one, another one, you know. And it's like, he's not the only one, you know. Most of those young, I mean, everyone, of, you know, those young were, you know, like he was extraordinary, he was like this, he was like that, you know, it's like people are love. I mean, I think one of the things I like the best about the film is that it shows how this impacts a community, you know. It's not just like, you know, somebody you don't know at the end of the street, you know, and you never notice at the grocery store. It's like everybody knows everybody. So when this happens, it does impact the community. So when there is one, that's a big impact. When there is two, that's a big impact. When there is three, that's, you know, and it keeps adding like that. So it's, it's really, you know, this, that I think, you know, uh, yeah, it's one of the things I like about the film is to show the cohesion, you know, um, of the people. I don't thank, know. thank you so much. It, for it is, you know, it is, it was, you know, it's hard to know, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I mean, it's like in the vague, like we have this answer that, yes, you know, uh, the coroner said it was a suicide to the mother, but then the mother says she doesn't know if it's a suicide, and then, um, so there is, and then nobody can actually slice you know, the answer, because the investigation is not there, but there's no criminal charges, so it's probably a suicide, but, you know, even if it's, you know, the idea that, you know, it's, you know, how can you commit suicide in a police cell, you know, with your shoelace, first of all, that's a mistake, for sure, that you have your shoelace and your... 26, and you're in a nook, and you're drunk, and you're in a cell, you're like on top of the people who can commit suicide in Canada. It's like you're there. In a nook, 26 years old, drunk, angry, maybe depressed with your shoelace, and there's no red light that is flashing, you know, check, 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 you know, we need to check on this guy. We cannot leave him alone in the cell with his shoelace. But, you know, there are reasons. There's only two policemen. It's true. He has to go get the nurse. The other one is hurt. You know, it's like they're probably freaked out after. Why are they only two? Why are they, you know, it's like a series of historical and political and, you know, events. But, Still, you know, it's somebody's life. Yeah, I think it's a good question, you know, and people probably have also answers here, you know. Uh, uh, the family didn't have a lawyer, you know. They, uh, a lot of things were explained to them in English, you know. Uh, the mother speaks English, maybe, yes, she does, but what about the brother or the aunt or, you know, like even the language of, you know, sharing the information that's coming to them, you know, it's... And uh, access to justice, you know, is a big thing. I mean, the fact that, you know, they take your child and you cannot even identify his body before you take him for autopsy. Like they couldn't see him before he was flown to Ottawa for an autopsy. So they never saw him. Who identified his body? Like if it happened to me, I would have gone crazy and probably be in jail myself now because I would not have taken that, you know, it's like I'm going to see my son. 
they didn't want the family to see the son. So what is that? That's not acceptable. Just that is not acceptable, you know? should just be aware. It's the same country also. Like, we should be aware and talk about those things. There's lots of things happening in the north. Maybe we should feel it's not that far. And that, you know, since it's the same country, we are, you know, sharing some of the same politicians, for example, the federal government, and, you know, uh, you know, we should be uh, feeling maybe more together. The film was uh, produced with uh, the help of Super Channel. Super Channel gave us a broadcast license, so it's going to be shown on Super Channel in 2015, I think, next summer, 2015. And uh, now it has been shown at the Imaginative Film Festival in Toronto a month ago. And it's shown here. and. Uh, uh, it's going to be shown in other festivals, uh, Winnipeg Film Fest, uh, Winnipeg Aboriginal Film Festival this weekend. And uh, we're hoping to show it in a few other places, but I'm happy it's going to be on television because that's where people see, you know, can see more films, um, distribution and theaters. That's a good question. Uh, I think it had an impact. It's hard to know. Um, it had an impact when we did it because people knew, you know, like Susan is preparing, like we're doing this film and she's calling people and, you know, we're going to do interview and is it okay, you know, and this and that. So there is like this and everybody knows, you know, and the... Uh, and uh, a lot of people knew in Iqaluit, and you know, a lot of people knew we were making the film. And as we were making the film, I seemed to realize that, oh, there was an article in the local newspaper, or that people were doing this and that. But I think it's not because of the film itself. I think it's, you know, I, I tend to think that when you're doing something, it's because I don't know exactly, you're doing it because you're doing it, but there is like, uh, it's like when, you know, a woman is pregnant, she walks on the street and she sees all the other pregnant women, like, it seems like everybody's pregnant, so if you start to do something, you know, you tend to realize that other people are doing it also and they talk about it, you know, and they, so we had that feeling, you know, that people were talking about it because we were more sensitive to, to this, you know, and our ears were open and, you know, we were. And uh, for the second part of your question, uh, we send the film to the mother, you know, she has a few copies of uh, the film and uh, we didn't show it in Iglulik uh, as a public screening yet. Uh, we will do it. I, I, I didn't want to just uh, show it like this. It's a very sensitive thing. And uh, also in other community because it's the same story. It's Solomon, it's Michael, it's Julius, it's, you know, it's uh, Solomon was our friend, it, this was our community, but the same story is in other places too, so people can really relate to it. And I wanted to do it with like some kind of environment where people can talk and uh, feel safe and express, you know, either their anger, sadness, questions. And we're developing a working relation with a, an organization called Embrace Life Council. And they're going to do a tour. I mean, they're doing workshop, like uh, they're organizing prevention workshop in different communities. And in January, they're going, in January, February, they're going to about five or six communities, including Iglulik, and they, um, they watch the film, and they, um, they want to, uh, to help by showing it, like they're going to do their workshop, their thing, and, you know, maybe in the evening or in the afternoon, they show the film, but they're there, you know, with their team, and they can uh, have a uh, discussion about it. And when we do that, I guess we'll benefit from their contact to, 
either the nursing station or the psychiatric nurse or something like that so that, you know, it's in an environment that's uh, you know, safer or, you know, like helping people. It's two years. It's going to be about 26, 27 months before there is a, the public. And the, I, I, you know, I don't know why. I don't think it's is normal. Is it really complicated? Well, it, it, you know, it's you have to ask the people who were there. You know, so basically that's the two RCMP officer, the nurse, and uh, people who, well, the family is there, the friends who's there, but, you know, the people who were there at the incident are to come in a clinic, and uh, yes, I have no idea why it's so long, and nobody is can it, answer this. Is it like, abnormally long? I mean, compared to, is, is it, do, do investigations take this, and I have no idea, but do investigations usually take this long? Or? Anybody know the answer to this? <laughs>